Good morning all. I am Hardik Patel from SN Patel Engineering College, Umrak, Bardoli. Subject Indian Constitution. Subject Code 313007, third semester for all the branch. Today I am giving my lectures on silent features of Indian constitutions. So first we understand what is the Indian constitution. Constitutions is a backbone of the nations. So without skeleton the body cannot be possible to stand easily. So constitutions is a backbone of the nation means without the constitutions the country cannot be run easily. Constitutions is a set of rule, set of principles that we and every citizen need to follow. This system will work according with the constitutions. Now every five years the government is changed. The society is remain same. So the government need to work according with the constitutional norms. If they are not working well with this constitution, it means it means the system will not going smooth. So here the set of rule. We take an example. For every game we have a set of rule. For example, cricket. We have a. Uh, for example, we have a, cr a cricket. For the cricket we have a set of rule, right? So the length of the pitch, that boundary, the six four LBW, everything has been designed. If you play in India, if you are if you play in another countries, the rule is remain same. Okay, why? Because we get the perfect judgment, we get the equal judgment, and due to the set of rule, we get the final object should be clear, and it is always be transparent. Okay, it is not change as per the country change or the people change. Okay, so here the list of features which relevant with this Indian constitution number one the lengthiest written constitutions now we know that in India we have the multiple of people live together like a different culture a different culture different religions we have and all the people they need to be satisfied their need as per the legislative written constitution concern now this written constitutions uh, concept we take it from the USA okay now why it is lengthiest because before 1947 we don't have our own constitutions okay the Britishers they came in we need to follow their instructions later on later on we get a freedoms in 1947 so after that we define our own written things okay own written things so in at the time of drafting we have a 395 article later on is developed or it's updated then after 22 parts and eight schedules originally so at the time of drafting we have a 395 395 article 395 article and 22 parts eight schedule originally it is the lengthiest in the world lengthiest in our world if you search to another countries right they have a 22 articles 33 articles 8 articles even though right but India we have a 395 articles at the time of drafting 1947 then after second various source we have used to make the constitutions now what are those source okay so Okay, now look at your screen in which we can see that the various source we can use to make the constitution. So we bring it from the UK, we bring it from the USA, from the Australia, from the USSR, Germany, Japan, Canada and so on. Okay, so from the various country we bring so many things. Right now you can see the basket of India is so healthy. Why? Because all the flowers we bring it from the different countries. Okay, now from the UK, we bring it from the president rule, cabinet system of ministry, post of prime ministers, then types of government, parliamentary forms of government, then counseling of ministry, houses, 
okay and provision of the lok sabha because we have two system that the rajya sabha and lok sabha upper house and lower house based on that from the uk we have bring it now from the usa that is a written constitution that i already explained from the usa we bring it we bring it that written constitution then after appointment of vice president fundamental rights then after what are those fundamental rights we we'll discuss in next videos then after the supreme court that's they're the final head of the decision that supreme court and heads of the states known as a president provision of states and juridical reviews from the australia we have a co current list then after the relationship between the central government and state government now uh, here india is not a one country india is a association of country because state have a different power okay now we take example in a central government we have a nda governments okay but in local level we have for example aap or even a congress or even a bjp okay so that state level the decision will be different okay no doubt they need to follow the instruction given by the central government okay now it depends on the state government if they wants to apply the concept or not it depends on the state decisions or if they wants to modify it according with the law they can okay then after the language of preambles then after from usa as r we got the fundamental duties and five years plan from the germany we take it emergency provision uh from the japan we take it law on which of the supreme court are functions means how they can work then after from the canada is the federal system uh, that we follow the federal system from the canada from the south africa we take it procedures for the cancellations of the amendment it means change okay we have seen the 395 articles but it it is not right now 395 it's upgrading because we need a change as per the society requirement is change then after from the ireland we take it from the directive principle of state policy directive principle of state policies okay so these are the various source we bring it from the different countries so as per the government of indian act 1935 from the usa from the russia from the japan south africa and so on okay now next rigidity and flexibility the next topic that is a rigidity and flexibility under the silent features of the indian constitutions so what is a rigidity rigidity means i cannot be changed for anyone so constitutions cannot be changed for anyone if you are belong from a business person if you are a political person or if you are any xyz the law is remain same it cannot change it is flexible when when the society is really needed to upgrade the system okay you take any example for example of triple the lag the law has been uh, changed why because uh, we need to give a safety to the women okay here we can see only women not the regional base that you belong from x y or z okay so we need to change as per the condition change okay okay just because of flexible so is neither too rigid nor amid not to be a flexible in easy amendments then after uh, even even so many concept we can say the flexible uh, the law is been changed for example traffic rule okay the new education system it is changed why because of flexible the constitution always to be changed why because of it if things good for the society they can change okay but for a person interest it is always to be rigid then after the federal system with the uh, qs's federal system so this is a special provision divis a special division of power between the state and central government so we have seen uh, from the from the australia so it's a social uh, is a special division of power so state have a different power central government have a different power no doubt both are always to be work in correlations correlations then after uh parliamentary forms of government now uh, this british rules from the uk that's parliamentary forms of government types of then parliamentary forms of government in which we have seen uh, that the british parliament sister system uh, that western models we are following which is upper house and lower house and main systems then after the next is parliamentary or sovereignty and juridical of juridical of the supremacy it means that is a key balance of all the pillars of the democracy now basic we have a four pillar of democracy basic we have a four pillar of democracy number one that is a legislative second executives executives 
third juridicals and fourth that is a media these are the four pillar of the democracy four pillar of the democracy the first that create the law the second which is enforce the law third which is a maintain the law and number four pillar that is provide right information to the public okay if uh, right now we see the media rank we have 142 out of 145 so does it media play the good roles if yes then why we have a that we uh, right now not in a tap 10 positions of this media rank we have 142 that new updated rank okay so it means media is not playing that good roles okay then after the next next function a silent feature that is a fundamental rights now what are those fundamental rights which is article 12 to article 35 we start with this rights to equality rights to accept the religions then after right against the exploitations always educations so article 21a then after uh, we need to follow we need to follow that uh, personal liberty and like that is article 21 okay so then after next is directive principle of state policies so here the directive principle of state policies that give a guidelines to keep watch on of uh, on the system that provide the guidelines for the state so ultimately ultimately the central government giving guidelines to the state that we need to ally our cultures of education system and so on so it always to be keep a watch side the central government will observe it then after the fed fundamental duties the next topic that is a fundamental duties article 51a so we know that indian pledge okay india is my country all brothers sisters are uh, right so what is this this is nothing it is a fundamental duties okay we need to protect our protect our uh, public places you must have to be safeguard of that public places okay so you see every coin has a two side head and tail in fundamental rights we take it but in fundamental duties we need to give back to the nations give back to the nations so in which in which we need to give back to the nation you always to be honest you must have to pay the tax then after we always to be protect our indian cultures indian heritage values right always to be protect in which the fundamental duties then after the emergency provision so basic basic three emergence uh, three emergency provision as per the as per the constitutions that is a national emergency president rule and financial emergency under these provisions then after the three tier government three tier government see india is a very uh, the constitution is a very complications way for example we have a state government then after we have a central government then after we have the local government okay for example in village start with this sarpanch then after uh, from the uh, taluka level from the district level then after the uh, state level then after the central level see this is a very complex why because because india uh, for only constitutions having a central government in the state government the local government just why because we have the multiple layer the system will going smooth the one person cannot be see at the time at all right we have a more populations meanwhile our area is also high so we decide we decide as per that work distribution so for the local level we have a problem for example i live in village so i have a problem so i so i need to discuss with a, my sarpanch okay that decide by the local governments that the local parties local person okay then after uh any things any things uh that is a, a big issues then again we uh, go with the third part the uh, second option that is we go with the state uh, the taluka level or district levels and so on so here the multiple layers has been designed as a three tier governments okay so these are the silent uh, these are the 11 silent features of the indian constitution so number one number one constitutional is a lengthiest and written constitution second various source have been used then after third rigidity and flexibility federal system then after the parliamentary forms of government uh, parliamentary solvency and juridical systems as a keeper relations and the democracy that four pillar then after fundamental rights direct to principle of state policies fundamental duties emergency provision and three-tier governments okay thank you class